Hello and welcome back to another weekend website course tutorial. Today I am going to be showing you how to create a really simple terms and conditions page for your website using the compliance terms and conditions plugin. So it has an in-depth wizard that will configure a terms and conditions page for your website and or those for your clients. So if you're creating websites for clients or for yourself, we know that you always need that terms and conditions page. And this plugin makes it really simple for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install now and get this started. All right, the plugin is now installed. Let's go ahead and get that activated. All right, so now that this plugin is activated, um, it's, we're gonna go through this wizard. So it asks who is the owner of the website. Um, so my company is the owner of the website, which is Carmen K Holdings LLC. I'm just gonna put in just my city and state, Atlanta, Georgia, my zip code, uh, the country is the United States. And how do you wish visitors to contact you? Let's see. Uh, so let's just use our existing contact page. I just make it easier. All right, and so it automatically grabs the contact page. Very, very, uh, very advanced. All right, do you want to refer your cookie policy and privacy statement? I actually don't have a cookie policy quite yet, but I think it will go ahead and make one for me. So let's go ahead and keep those checked. And where can visitors find your uh, statutory and regular disclosures? I actually don't have that just yet, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And let's go ahead and click on next. All right, so that's are you running a web shop? So yes, I am. Uh, is there an option to register an account on your website for clients? Yes, it is. Uh, do you want to suspend or delete user accounts of visitors that breach terms and conditions? Definitely. <laughs> do you engage in affiliate marketing? Yes, we do. Um, is there an option for visitors to post their own content on your website? Not at the moment, not that I can think of. Uh, do you want to include your efforts concerning accessibility? Sure, that's important nowadays. And is your website specifically targeted at minors? No, it is not. All right, let's keep moving along here. All right, so do you want to state the communication in writing is done electronically? Yes, it is. Uh, do you send newsletters? We do. Do you want to able force majeure? I'm sure that I'm not sure that's how you pronounce that, but oh, well, I think it's an important thing. Uh, will you get a written notice of any changes or updates of the terms and conditions before these changes will become effective? Um, well, no, this probably just shows up on the website. Uh, do you want to limit the interpretation of this document to your current language? Sure. All right, so as you can see, it's quite a few questions, um, but we're kind of close to the end here. Uh, do you offer financial, legal, or medical advice? No, we don't. Do you want to limit liability with a fixed amount? Uh, let's see. And you can choose an amount, but I'm just going to say no for right now. Um, you know, you may want to consult with a uh, someone in legal or some type of lawyer or attorney before writing your terms and conditions is always a good idea but just moving through this just for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and click on next all right so what do you want to do with the intellectual property claims i would want to say that all rights are reserved Let's click on next and do you offer returns of goods or the withdrawal of services uh we do not we have digital products so we do not offer refunds so let's go ahead and click on next Alrighty, so it is going to create a terms and conditions page for me. I just want to make sure that's capitalized. Um, and I'm going to click on create missing pages. Perfect. So now we have that page. Let's click on next. And now I'll ask where do we want to put this, um, put this in the menu item. So we want to put this in our footer menu. Let's click on next. All right, so let's take a look at our new terms and conditions. All righty, so there is a little bit of formatting that we'll need to do for this page, uh, but pretty much compliance did out of the box, created um, this really nice terms and conditions page for us, all information that we answered inside of that little um, onboarding wizard. It's all here, and it should also added a um, the terms and conditions to the menu. All right, so let's see. So I may need to update that piece. Uh, let's see. I, I think this is an older 
um, thing I had here. So I just need to update this link. Um, but if the way your website is set up depends, it can automatically add uh, your new terms and conditions to a menu on your website, but I will need to do that manually. So that is it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.